In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the area inside any shape or any object using a program called Inkscape. It's really fast and easy to do. So before I begin, I'm just going to scroll down so we've got a nice white area to work with. And we can draw any shape you want. So we can go over here to draw rectangles and squares or circles, ovals. I'm just going to go on to this one to draw polygons. So we've got hexagons or stars and we can choose how many points or sides we want. And I'm just going to draw a yellow star. So to find the area of this star, what we do is we go on path, object to path, go on extensions, visualize path, and then measure path. And you'll have a bunch of options. You want to make sure that area is selected here. And you also need to be aware of the units. So we've got centimeter squared, you've got pixel squared, millimeter squared. I'm just going to do it all in centimeters. You can choose whatever you want, of course, and then just press apply. And it's as simple as that. We've got the area of our star now. This text here, it can be moved around. You can delete it if you if you don't want it to be there. It's up to you. And there you go. That's you, you, of course, you're not limited to these sort of shapes only. We can draw any shape you want. So if we go on to the Bezier curve tool, let's uh, draw some very unusual sort of looking shape. So make sure that you've got the object selected and then we repeat the same process so we go on path object to path extensions visualize path come across to measure path and I'll keep these options the same and press apply so that's another shape done okay so if we want to go a bit more ambitious still Let's try and import an object in. So let's choose something to do. Let's go on to, let's find the area inside a wreath. Okay, so scroll down a little bit. So we can't just click on here and repeat the same process as before. We do have to do an extra step. So what we do is we right click, click on trace bitmap and where it's on this brightness cutoff, just in increase this to, I find that 0 0.95 tends to be a good sort of number to go for. Then if you click on live preview, we can see that we have a black sort of shape. We want to get rid of all the details. Okay, so this is on top of there. So this is what we'll be working on. We can actually delete this one if you want to now. And we need to get the paint bucket. Choose a colour. Go for green. That makes sense. And make sure that you don't have any stroke applied. If you want to check or remove that, just hold Control, Shift and F. That brings this sort of menu up here. Stroke paint, just make sure this is selected there. Or you can just remove that down to zero. It's up to you. But now that we have this shape over here, we can then repeat the same process as above. So we go on path, object to path, extensions, visualize path, measure path and apply. So it's worth noting that it's only calculated the area of this green area. Anything inside like these white bits that hasn't been calculated. If you, let's just delete this one. If you find that you've got a, an image that has white areas in and you need to calculate those in, let's go ahead and show you what to do there. So let's try and 
try and find a picture. And ah, so this one will do. We've got some teeth over here. That's obviously white. So if we right click, I'll just close this down. So if we right click, go on trace bitmap and find this setting is all right. You may have to adjust it, of course. And you've got a live preview button here as well. But that will do. OK, so I'll delete that one. Let's go on the paint bucket. Let's go for red. So make sure that the stroke is off again. You can, of course, just right click, go on fill and stroke there. Let's delete that one. It's not needed. So in this case, if we want to have the whole shape, so including this white bit of the teeth, what we need to do is we need to color those bits in. So I'm just going to use a square tool, could use circles, it's up to you. Even the fill button will be all right. Just going to do it. Yeah, you might want to take this off over here because that just snaps things into place. Be a lot easier to do it without that there. Okay, so now that that's all filled in, highlight it all. Go on Object, go on Group, and then you need to go on to the Fill Bucket. Let's choose another colour, so let's go for Maroon. And in fact, we didn't need to do that, did we? Let's see if this works. I don't know if it will. So path, object to path, extensions. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. So if you come across a problem like that, simply get the paint uh, bucket. Fill that again. So this will create a copy. Let's delete that old one. And now if we do do the same process, so path, object to path, extensions, visualize path, measure path. This should work. And there you have it. So that is covered any shape and any object. Hope that helps you out and thank you for watching.